I got this very sad, sad information last night from a good friend of mine. Dr. Tissa is no more. Many people, and especially his family, his wife and the children, they will be very, very sad. Not only this day, the following days, weeks and months. That Dr. Tissa is no more. When I'm reflecting on the life of Dr. Tissa Jayavira, I cannot help but I feel a sense of deep admiration and respect for this extraordinary personality. And I'm calling him an extraordinary personality, not simply a man. He was not only a man, and I'm not daring to call him a man. He was an outstanding personality to all Sri Lankans in Sri Lanka and abroad. He embodied the very essence of our channel's main slogan, which is make Lanka great again. Dr. Tisse was more than just a man. He was an outstanding personality, a true inspiration to all Sri Lankans, both at home and abroad. His warm-hearted nature and love for his family were evident to all who knew him and his stories of their travels together with the family. They were a testament to the joy and happiness he brought to those around him. His signature opening to his many speeches, Are you Boan? revealed not only his deep knowledge of the language, but his willingness to share the deeper meaning of this traditional greeting with those who may not have understood its significance. This was just one example of the many ways in which Dr. Tisse went above and beyond in his service to his community. Dr. Tisse's humility and friendly down-to-earth personality belied the high level of performance he achieved in his various businesses and other activities. Unlike many prominent figures who live by a high profile and low performance scheme, Dr. Tisse was a true example of a humble, hard-working individual who achieved great success through his dedication and perseverance. His commitment to his work was matched only by his dedication to his loved ones. Even if he could not answer a call, he always made sure to call back, never deviating from this rhythm. His generosity and kindness touched the lives of so many, and his passing is felt deeply by all who knew him. To Dr. Tiss's family, we extend our deepest sympathies. And be assured, your husband, your father, your grandfather will not have to knock on heaven's door. It was already made wide open for him. May Dr. Tiss's soul rest in peace and may his legacy live on in the hearts of all those he touched. He was my very good friend.